Hello and welcome to the video of this Audi Q3, the 2 litre TDI Quattro four wheel drive. It is the S Line Plus edition. So, not just S Line, it's the Plus. So, Plus features obviously have got uh, a lot more uh, features like the bigger alloy wheels, uh, the sat nav is included, etc., uh, and the sport style front seats. Okay, so a very, very good example. Uh, two former keepers, lady owners as well, a full service history and documented as well. So documented or invoiced service history, also the timing belt has been carried out as well. Let's get straight into the action. Excuse the noise, my colleague there is washing the R8. Uh, so, just making all that noise in the jet wash. Condition, totally unmarked. The paintwork is absolutely superb. There's no scratches or dents anywhere. The alloy wheel's good as well, that one's probably the better one. Make this good, nice and clean as well. All the tyres are really chunky, as you've already seen in the 100 photos. LED lights, also got the um, headlight washer jets there, down there. Xenon lights as well, Xenon and LEDs. Uh, it's got the lower sports fog lights there as well. And then uh, the grill, all nice and clean. Quattro badge, uh, front parking sensors, uh, JCT 600 Audi main dealer number plates, where she originally bought the car from, the last owner. Bonnet, immaculate. Excuse me about the uh, weather, a little bit of uh, rain here, very slight, but I, I've been waiting a couple of days to be fair and I'm just fed up because obviously British weather, what can I do? But I don't want to make a video inside because it's too dark uh, and you may accuse me of hiding uh, imperfections because obviously in the dark you can hardly see the paintwork. The alloy wheel is clean, it has got a few very light scuffs on the edges, very light. They are the 19 inch ones by the way, the 19 inch uh, alloy wheels, S-line badges which are factory fitted. This vehicle has been uh, fully detailed as well, so it's had the clay bar, get rid of all the uh, little tar spots that have been flicked up from the road. There's no tar spots, it's all been machine polished as well, so a real good shine to it. Uh, there's no different shades of paint anywhere. So there's no evidence of having paintwork. Back to the wing mirror is very clean. The screen is very clean. Let me just put the wipers on. Let's check the wipers and see if we can uh, see any chips on there. Let me switch this off. Oh, the aircon's on, that's why. Switch that off. Right, put the wipers. Let's have a look at that screen. No, very clean. Original Audi windscreen as well. It's got the gradual tinted top windscreen, so the first four inches there has got a little bit of a tint to it, so the sun doesn't glare in your eyes. Also, the previous owner has left the, uh, the camera recorder, so you get that as well. That's all hardwired in. The rain and light sensor up there. This side of the windscreen, immaculate, no chips, etc. Bosch wipers, a very good sign to say it's been maintained with the best possible parts with Bosch wipers are a little bit more expensive than the rest. The roof very clean, no evidence of any um, roof bars being attached to this. Look at this rail, it's totally unmarked, there's no evidence of any clamps for the roof bars at all. So it hasn't had any roof bars on and the chrome around the window surrounds is all nice and bright and shiny as well, it's not pitted or dull uh, as well as the A-pillar um, high gloss piano black trim there, that's all nice and shiny. So that's not all scratched and swirled and bad dull. Same with that bit there, that's all nice and shiny. And the back as well, all nice and clean. That rear quarter panel, uh, no evidence of any scratches on the rear arch, which is the common one, the gate post arch, I call that one. Left turn, scratch. But yeah, very clean condition, no scratches. That alloy wheel, probably the worst out of the bunch. Uh, it's got a few scuffs on the edges there, that's all, but very clean as you can see, it's very clean. That bumper's very clean, 
got the reverse parking sensors you can see that all the lights are nice and clean they're not no condensation in there anything like that once again the jct 600 audi number plate on the back rear wash wipe uh rear rear windows privacy glass so that is a factory fitted as well that's the privacy glass rear windows that light immaculate quattro badge there uh, all the reflectors all the lights there's no cracks in those lights or anything like that and all that panel there is immaculate let's pop the fuel cap very clean even has the rubber string attached so that's not broken or snapped obviously on these if you open these they've got the little thing what pops into there so no one's had that dangling and scratching that because on most vehicles we look at that's always scratched slightly because people are just being lazy or don't know what they're doing and just leave that dangling and scratch it against the paintwork there which is not in this case that all works as well locks up uh, this rear wheel very clean that one as we said all four tires are really chunky as well that arch there no damage and that rear door immaculate driver's door also immaculate as well okay so that's off oh, that window there uh, this side of the roof so originally this was from Peterborough Audi, the sticker there, Peterborough Audi. Start on the boot. Let's open the tailgate. It's a manual tailgate by the way. It's all nice and clean in here. There's no evidence of any dog hairs in the fibres, so no dogs have been in this vehicle. No smoke either. The lady that had it before was a non-smoker. I uh, actually know her as well, it's actually a friend of ours. So she doesn't smoke, uh, she hasn't got no kids, she's got some grandkids, uh, she's in her, in her 60s. So that's the slimline spare wheel, which is a Continental, and you've got the first aid kit there, and in the side you've got the tool kits in the side there as well. All that chrome trim, nice and clean, the top of the bumper's nice and clean as well. Good to see it's got the parcel shelf because nine times out of ten they're missing for some reason. It's also got that parcel shelf up there as well. It's the two-piece parcel shelves all there. Behind that flap there is a warning triangle as well. It's a warning triangle and all the uh, boot shuts are nice and clean as well. No green moss growing in the corners, etc. Okay, so that's the boot. Let's look at the, uh, the rear. So half, uh, sorry, it's got the Alcantara door cards there, uh, the brushed aluminium effect garnish trim for the interior, got the S-line kick plates there, half leather and Alcantara sport style seats, three headrests, three seat belts in the back, a 12 volt down there and an air vent in the middle. All the backs of the seats are really clean, no magazine holders unfortunately. I don't think this model actually came with magazine holders in the back of the seats. Fitted carpet set. So they're the tailored to fit carpet set uh, with the light grey edging as well. All this area is nice and clean, no scratches on the plastic or on the uh, door shuts at all, no trap seat belt marks. Also got the child Isofix anchoring points as well at the back. So two lots of those. <coughs> Let's check out the other side door card. That's all immaculate. Once again, no trap seat belt marks on the door shuts. Uh, no scuffs from anyone's boots there. Kick plates are nice and immaculate. The carpet is all clean. She's actually upgraded to a newer uh, model, a 2022 plate. And uh, she actually dropped me the logbook off uh, yesterday, actually, because it's just had a private plate taken off. She just dropped me the logbook off. And she says the new one doesn't drive as half as well as this one. Uh, the new one's a petrol one she's got. I think it's a 1.5 petrol. Um, obviously but it doesn't drive half as good this is more powerful uh, she says everything about it so yeah the, the the newer one isn't as good this has also got the child uh, fixing points in the front seats as well which is an optional extra S-line embossed sports seats as you can see immaculate no wear and tear on the bolsters 
at all. It's also got the electronic lumbar support, so that's electronic lumbar support for the lumbar bike there. It's got the height adjustment for the front passenger seat as well. All that's nice and clean, the dashboard, quattro badge, tweeters in the doors as well. Uh, speakers there and speakers there, so you've got lots of speakers in this vehicle because it's the S-Line Plus. It's got the uh, Audi multimedia package. Okay, the kick plates in the front and the door shuts are all relatively clean and tidy. Driver's door, take a look at that. Okay, all nice and clean. That button there, that's if you have pets in the car or small children and you go to a petrol station to fill up and you won't lock the doors with the remote control alarm, you press that button there and that uh, switches off the interior sensors as well so when the people, the occupants move around it doesn't set the alarm off. So you can press that before you get out. Okay, four electric windows, got the child safety locks. So those there lock both the window operation and the internal uh, door opening. Uh, mechanism as well so when you press that so you don't have to go to the back door and start twisting little things there's no twisty twisty to twist to lock that door so you do it all on that so that prevents the child from escaping should we say oh that's nice and clean door pockets immaculate speaker grills immaculate the door shuts all nice and clean the foot pedals are nice and clean as well kitchen carpet all this area here is really tidy and no trap seatbelt marks on the door shut there and no worn rubbers here from larger occupants getting in and out because I have seen a few cars where all oh, this is worn off and the rubber's gone through right okay so the seat there embossed S-Line logo Got the side airbags as well for safety that bolster's very good condition there's no wear and tear and no fraying on the stitching uh, and that bolster there is nice and clean as well. Um, that seat there, Alcantara and leather. Uh, what else? Let's get in the car. Let's show you there. Oh, let's show you this here. So this here, this brushed aluminium effect vinyl uh, trim, this trim here, has got some light uh, fingernail scratches on there, which I must make you aware of. It's very common on these because that uh, that trim there is very, uh, how can I say, is very easily damaged uh, with keys and sharp trim etc okay so inside the car let's have a look turn this radio off uh, turn the heating down because that's noisy put the window up so first of all we have got parking sensors with a the display there uh, and then we've got the sat nav which you can view the map on there sat nav you've got the DAB radio as well uh, you've got your media package uh, you've got your telephone as well, Bluetooth, uh, you've got your menu as well, you've got that, and then you've also got the car button there, which shows you the next oil change days, 235 days to the next service, etc. So that's all there. Cruise control, Audi multimedia, so you've got a CD player as well, and you've got SD card holding slots there, SD1 and SD2. Uh, you've got your parking sensors, traction control, stop start, uh, on and off button, climate control there, your dual zone, so you've got your left and right temperature settings, heated front seats as well, heated front seats they work, we've had them working, so both of those in working condition, so they're three stage heated seats, S-Tronic uh, gearbox, also known as the DSG in the VW world, so it's the same item, uh, and then there's your normal uh, gearbox settings and you've also got paddle shifts as well up here so you can drive it with the paddle shifters if you want to be racing around uh, and then what have we got here so here we've got the electronic handbrake we've got the uh, cigarette lighter as well drinks holder uh, a 12 volt another so that's two 12 volts you've got really you don't need that you can use that as a charging point as well also in the armrest to lift that up you've got the multimedia port so you've got a port there which you can buy off eBay uh, and you can obviously buy a port to, um, how can I say, fit your iPhone or your Android or your USB port. That's all there. Uh, you've got a few magnetic phone holders which last owners left behind. 
you've got the camera system there it just needs a that's all on there so that just needs an sd card because she took the sd card out so buy an sd card stick that in and you've got a recording camera system as well uh the steering wheel is in immaculate condition this is a sports one three spoke leather uh soft leather with a gray stitch in there you can see it's totally immaculate uh and the middle there s line got the steering wheel controls as well you've also got a anti-dimming rear view mirror so that's an anti-dimming or anti-dazzle anti-dazzle sorry uh, dimming rear view mirror oh the clocks are nice and clean there's no warning lights on uh 74 000 miles in fact let me do the uh, test here so we switch the engine off pull the key out two keys by the way it's got two keys there two remote central keys put the foot on the brake to start all the lights come on wait for the coil light to go out start it all the rest of the lights go out so it's all there automatic headlights as well all right okay what else have we got adjustable steering column down there let's look under the bonnet let's switch the engine off so it's not as noisy for you. Pop the bonnet, show you under there. Very clean, very clean. Like I say, it's had the cam belt change as well a few years ago. A few, uh, I think it was about late 30,000, 30, 38, 38 or 37,000 miles the cam belt was changed. The cam belt intervals on these vehicles are 140,000 miles, believe it or not, or up to seven years. That's the cam belt intervals, so 140,000 miles or up to seven years. All nice and clean. HPI clear as well, so not being involved in an insurance claim accident or payout. So it's all HPI clear, so we can finance this vehicle, no problem. And we can have the finance over five years on this vehicle, being a 64 plate. So five years finance is the higher purchase finance. Obviously it's too old for the PCP option with the balloon. Okay. Right, okay. So if you've got a part exchange, please let us know the uh, full reg number and mileage. And we'll give you a quotation of what your car is worth going on the live uh, auto trader data. Home delivery, we can deliver this vehicle as well uh, to anywhere in the UK. Even even Ireland, even Northern Ireland, we've, we've delivered about three or four cars to uh, Northern Ireland. Right up to Aberdeen in Scotland as well. Uh, I've even taken a, what was it, a Polo, a Polo GTI to, to Jersey, believe it or not. We took it to Jersey. So we could deliver anywhere you like. And this vehicle comes with a full 12 months warranty cover. Okay, so it's got a full 12 months warranty cover as well with a company called Momentum Warranties. And that will cover you anywhere in the UK nationwide uh, coverage as well at their Audi Specialist Garage. That's closest to your address, so you don't have to bring it all the way back here to sunny Sheffield. You uh, can have the work carried out at a, an authorised Audi specialist uh, nearest to your home address. Okay, thanks for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it.